A Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for February 6, 2012. Steroids control a gas exchange in plants. Plants' leaves are sealed with a gas-tight wax layer to prevent water loss. Plants breathe through microscopic pores called stomata, which is Greek for mouths, on the surfaces of leaves. Over 40% of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere passes through stomata each year, as well as a water volume twice that of the whole atmosphere. As the key conduits for carbon dioxide uptake and water evaporation, stomata are critical for both our climate and plant productivity. Thus, not surprisingly, the total number and distribution of stomata are strictly regulated by plants to optimize photosynthesis while minimizing water loss. The mechanisms for such regulation have remained elusive. New research from Carnegie's Zhang Wang, Tai Wu Kim, and Dominique Bergman demonstrates that certain plant steroid hormones, called brassinosteroids, play a crucial role in regulating the number of stomata in the leaf. The work is published online February 5th by Nature. Brassinosteroids are found throughout the plant kingdom and regulate many aspects of growth and development, including inhibition of photosynthetic genes when there is insufficient light for photosynthesis. Mutant plants that are deficient in brassinosteroids show defects at many phases of the plant life cycle, including reduced seed germination, activation of light-induced genes and growth behavior in the dark, dwarfism, and sterility. Wong, lead author Kim, and their colleagues set out to determine brassinosteroids' role in stomatal development. They found that mutant plants that are brassinosteroid deficient or lack sensitivity to brassinosteroids were observed to have excessive and unevenly distributed stomata, leading the team to ask what role this class of hormones plays in the developmental process for these crucial plant organs. Wang and his colleagues had previously determined that when brassinosteroid binds to a receptor on the surface of a plant cell, it initiates a chain of signal transduction that results in certain genes being turned on or off within the cell's nucleus. But this research showed that one of the proteins involved in this chain, called BIN2, is also involved in a completely separate pathway that regulates the development of stomata. The team found that BIN2, which is similar to a protein found in humans, had an inhibiting effect on a key protein in the stomatal development regulatory system. This second protein is called YODA, and it also has a similar counterpart in humans. In the absence of brassinosteroid, BIN2 inhibits YODA, which allows stomata formation. When brassinosteroid is present, it causes an activation of BIN2, and this allows YODA to inhibit stomatal development. This research supports the role of brassinosteroid as a master regulator that coordinates both physiological and development aspects of plant growth. Because brassinosteroid is one of the best understood chemical pathways in plant physiology, these results could help scientists who are researching many other plant cell systems as well. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.